All right, now to our State of the Race series as we check in on the campaigns heading into November's general election. Today, James Pindle looks at a rematch in the 1st Congressional District. Normally, when someone is running for re-election, the contest is all about them. Their record, their personality, how they're doing in office. But lately in the 1st Congressional District race, the conversation has been all about the Republican challenger, Frank Ginta. According to polls, neither Ginta nor Democratic Congresswoman Carol Shea Porter are particularly well-liked. But that appears to be a bigger problem for Ginta. And to turn that around, Ginta is trying to show a softer side. Last week, he campaigned at a homeless shelter in a soup kitchen. This week, he began a new television ad with his wife and his mother. From my breast cancer, his dad's heart disease, and a family member's mental illness, Frank has always been there for us. Democrats, meanwhile, are helping Shea Porter raise questions about Ginta's past campaign donations, which were an issue in past elections as well. Frank Ginta gave $245,000 to his campaign from a personal account that had never before shown up on any financial disclosure. For the record, Ginta says the new money was a clerical mistake that had simply been left off from an earlier form. Their first debate last week reflected the personal and negative tone of this particular campaign. For WMUR News 9, I'm James Pendle.